special occasion. My name is Sue Bean and it will be my pleasure to conduct the marriage ceremony today. My colleague and fellow registrar, Myra Shaw, is here to ensure the legality of today's proceedings and to record the details into the official marriage register where it will remain a record for all time. <laughs> Before we begin today's ceremony, it's my duty to inform you that this place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. Is your full name Adam George Clark? It is. And is your full name Katie Marie Rollo? Fantastic. Right people, right place, right time. <laughs> We're here to witness the joining in matrimony of Adam George Clark and Katie Marie Rollo. I have to ask the question, ladies and gentlemen, if any person here present knows of any lawful impediment why Adam and Katie should not be joined in matrimony, they must declare it now. <laughs> You've invited some very well people. Shall I move on? So, Adam and Katie have chosen today as their wedding day. A celebration of their commitment now and for their future lives together. The vows this couple will exchange will unite them as husband and wife with words that are a pledge of their love and a promise of lifelong dedication. From earliest times couples have sought to unify their individual lives through the security of marriage. Hopes, dreams and aspirations are all brought together on a wedding day to be shared and developed in order, of the, in order that the lives of both may be best fulfilled through the great journey that is a marriage. 
it is a mutual enrichment, a give and take between two people, and a mingling of two characters, which diminishes neither, but enhances both. <laughs> but before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you're about to make. <coughs> Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. So, Adam, do you, Adam George Clark, freely consent to be joined in marriage to Katie Marie Rollo? I do. And do you, Katie Marie Rollo, freely consent to be joined in marriage to Adam George Clark? <coughs> I shall now ask each of you in turn to declare that to the best of your knowledge and belief that there is no lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. So at this point you're going to repeat words after me. No pressure, Adam, but you are going first. <laughs> I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Adam George Clark. Why I, Adam George Clark, may not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Katie Marie Roller. To Katie Marie Roller. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Katie Marie Roller. Why I, Katie Marie Roller. May not be joined in matrimony. <laughs> At this point, I'd like to invite Alana forward to present her reading. Alana, do you want to come and here to the left hand side? For many a month, she watched him in school. There's someone I like. But I'm playing it cool. <laughs> I don't want to make myself look a fool. One day she told Miss Mac and the secret was out. A Facebook request came winging its way and a date was set for next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a date it turned out to be. The smile on her face meant nothing to say. Katie and Adam, an item from that day. Then Christmas it came, an introduction to make. Adam came to meet us. What an impression we made. It was in a fishnet. Gosh, what a sight. But we really did have a fabulous night. We did down on style. He thought we were mad. And from that day, Adam became my dad. It just felt so right for everyone that night. Another year on, a small gift on the train. Then came, Katie, will you marry me? So here we are with joys in our hearts to celebrate the marriage of the new Mr. and Mrs. Clark. wedding ring is an unbroken circle, symbolising everlasting love, and is the outward sign of the lifelong promises this couple are making to each other here today. So Ben, if you would step forward at this point, and if you would offer up first of all the small pretty ring to Adam, to Adam if you would turn to your bride, third finger, left card, pop that ring on. <laughs> <laughs> Holding the ring at her hand, but most importantly, looking at your beautiful bride at this point, if you'd repeat after me, Katie, I give you this ring. Katie, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love and marriage. As a symbol of our love and marriage. And I believe you have a personal promise you want to make to your bride. <laughs> I promise to be there when you need me, to fill your days with sunshine, to comfort and encourage you, to help you reach your goals, to be your best friend forever and to love you with all my life and with all my heart. 
<laughs> so now, Ben, if you could offer off the ring to Kate. <laughs> Katie, if you can find his left hand, have a slight shake of the third finger and pop that ring on, and we'll repeat this. So, looking at your bridegroom, repeat after me. Adam, I give you this ring as a symbol of our love and marriage. And you too have a promise you want to make to him. I promise to care for you always and to keep our love and friendship as it is today. Please share my hopes and dreams and never allow anything to stop happy. We have to for one another. Adam and Katie will now make a binding contract of marriage with each other. This couple have chosen today to celebrate one of the most important milestones in life. They will declare in front of you all their family and their friends, that they wish to make a lifelong commitment to one another. To support the couple at this stage of the ceremony, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are able, would you please stand? Would you do turn and face each other with all the sets of words? Again, you're repeating words after me, make me fly straight to your heart. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Adam George Clark. To witness that I, Adam George Clark. Do take thee, Katie Marie Rollo. Do take thee, Katie Marie Rollo. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Katie, I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Katie Marie Rollo, to witness that I, Katie Marie Rollo, do take thee, Adam yeah. George Clark, to take thee, Adam George Clark, to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Well then, Adam and Katie, this is indeed the start of a new chapter in your lives together. And we all here hope that the feelings of love you so obviously find one another will deepen and grow stronger throughout the years to come. You've declared your commitment in the presence of your witnesses and made solemn and binding promises. You've symbolized your marriage by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings. So, it is with very great pleasure I can declare you are legally joined together as husband and wife. Congratulations and please kiss your bride. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.